In this tutorial, we'll look at editing feature profiles and maintaining a clean history tree. Editing profiles. I'll start with a simple shape. Add some fillets to it. the shape change the color <clears throat> in the layer manager the feature tree if I click on the shape I can see the profile open it up as I go around I can see the various lines that make it up Let's say I want to change that radius there. There are very, various ways I can do this. But the cleanest way, without messing up the geometry and the history tree, is to replace the curve. If I hide that, just leave the geometry behind, I can edit. this. Now notice that down in the bottom left corner there's a broken link meaning that the geometry for this is now broken and you can see that there and there. So what I need to do is replace the old curve with the new curve I've just put in. So it was that arc. If I right click on it, replace curve, click on the new arc, there it is, it's fixed. Now equally, I can add curves to it. So click on this, right click the profile, add curve, and I'll hold down shift and I'll click on these extra ones. And there they are. I can delete this old one without anything getting upset. If I don't like one of these, I can delete any one of them. Right click on it, remove curve. I can do some really radical stuff and change the entire profile. Replace profile, drag over that one. There it is. look at why you'd want to edit the feature profile and what the benefits are and what are the alternatives. Take this shape and say I want to remove that big fillet there. The only way I can think of is to either add some geometry to it to get deleted or use the remove face tool which works but and put a new fillet in. But the problem is now I've got these two extra features here and I've still got somewhere in here my original arc which although it no longer relates to the geometry uh, relates to the feature still has to be there. That's why it's better to replace the arc.